This is the calculator in Wintex. We used to work out the claim against the fringe benefit levied for having the full use of a company car. We enter the car details and we enter that we have a logbook detailing mileage. We also enter dates of use and mileage figures. The car cost was 300,000 Rand in this example, so the fringe benefit amount is 3.5% of 300,000 Rand per month. This works out to 126,000 Rand for the year or 10,500 Rand a month. SAS wants the employer to only levy 80% of this amount on our monthly salary, which means an amount of 8,400 Rand is added to our monthly salary for tax. So although 100% of the 126,000 Rand is added to our taxable income at the end of the year, we will be given a claim of 20% of the 126,000 Rand or 25,200 for business distance. This means we will only pay fringe benefit tax on the 80% of total mileage we did on private distance. SAS's formula of the 126,000 Rand added to our income multiplied by 20,000 kilometers divided by 100,000 kilometers total distance means a SAS claim of 25,200 against our income. Wintax calculates what Treasury calls a true inclusion amount, which is the net amount which should have been added to our taxable income instead of the 126,000. In this case, Wintax says that 80% of our mileage was done privately, so 80% of 126,000 or 100,800 Rand should have been added to our income. The amount of 126,000 actually added to our income less the 100,800 true inclusion amount means a claim of 25,200 Rand. This concept of a true inclusion amount created by Treasury may be difficult to grasp until you look at a few different examples. What if the employer made a mistake and only levied half the fringe benefit amount at salary source? I'm going to drop the 126,000 Rand code 3802 fringe benefit amount by half and enter only 63,000 Rand. You can see that the net amount that should have been levied and added to our income is 80% of 126,000 or 100,800 and yet only 63,000 was actually levied as a code 3802 fringe benefit. Using Treasury's true inclusion amount we should actually add the difference of 37,800 to our income. Note that SOSWE says we are entitled to a claim of 12,600 Rand, in spite of the huge shortfall in fringe benefit during the year. What if the employer made an error and levied far too much fringe benefit? I'll change the code 3802 fringe benefit amount for this car to 200,000 Rand. Using Treasury's true inclusion amount, Wintex says that 99,200 too much fringe benefit was levied at salary source, so we should be entitled to a claim of 200,000 less 100,800, which is 99,200, against taxable income. SAS's formula shows a claim of only 40,000 Rand. I'll now change the code 3802 fringe benefit amount back to 126,000. In order to get a more accurate code 3802 fringe benefit amount for the IRP5, we should also take the number of days into account. After all, if the company car was taken away from the employee for the last 10 days of February 2017, then the code 3802 amount should be adjusted accordingly for 355 days. The true inclusion amount is the amount of fringe benefit tax that should actually have been levied in theory according to the number of days. 
The taxpayer should have been taxed on 98,038 rand for the 355 days when he was actually taxed on 80% of 126,000 rand, which is 100,800, for 365 days. The difference of 27,962 should be uh, the claim allowed. You can see SARS formula ignores the days of use. Let me change back to our original figures. If this taxpayer had done only 10% of total distance on business and 90% of total distance on private mileage, then it stands to reason that he should get less of a claim against the code 3802 fringe benefit amount which was added to his income. If I change the business distance to only 10,000 kilometers, then we can see that the true inclusion amount has been changed to 90% of the code 3802 amount. The difference between code 3802 amount of 126,000 and the true inclusion amount is our claim of 12,600 rand, says Wintex, and SAS agrees. Since we did 90% of mileage privately, we should pay tax on 90% of the code 3802 amount of 126,000 rand added to income. The true inclusion amount is obviously also affected by the period for which we had the call. Let me change the mileage figures back. SARS allows the claim amount to be increased in cases where the employee paid for motoring expenses. So I'm just going to slide the screen over to the left so we can see what I'm talking about here. Yeah? If we enter an amount of 10,000 Rand paid for fuel by the employee, then a portion of this 10,000 Rand based on private distance will be added to the claim. Private distance was 80% of total distance, so the claim will be increased by 8,000 Rand. The reason why the claim is increased by the private distance portion is that the employee has already paid this tax when the fringe benefit amount was levied at salary source. 